This is our display at the Farm Progress Show demonstrating um, the value of growing corn in a solid seeded environment. Um, some of my new statements are that uh, corn is a grass and if I'm looking for maximum production out of a grass, uh, I think it has to be in a solid seeded environment. That way we can maximize the use of the sunlight, the nutrients, and the water. In the beginning, corn row spacings were 45 inches apart. And we used to do that because that was the width of the horse. But the problem was all of the plants were competing against each other for sunlight, water, and nutrients. So we didn't do real well on yield. And we also had an area for some weeds. And then with the mechanization of tractors, tires, we've gone to 30 inch rows. And they're, they're great, it's been a huge improvement. But still, in 30 inch rows, we can only get so many plants in a row and they're gonna compete with one another for sunlight, nutrients, and water. In these 30 inch rows here, the plants are about every seven inches, but there's a 30 inch gap right here. So we didn't utilize the water, we didn't utilize the nutrients, and we didn't utilize the sunlight that fell in this area. Also, we've got a chance that some of the weeds are gonna grow in the 30 inch corn. So 20 years ago, I started growing my corn in 15 inch rows, and I believe that's a solid seeded environment. So we've got plants 15 inches by 15 inches, puts us around 28,000. That way we can shade the soil quicker, so we have less erosion from hard rain. We're gonna have less sunlight hitting the soil, so the temperatures are gonna be cooler, and we're gonna actually suck that sunlight up and put it into the corn plant. Our yield advantages that we're getting by growing corn in 15 inch rows in a, in a real stressful growing season, we may see 15 bushel to acre. In a, in a normal or good growing season, maybe we only see seven to eight bushel. But there's certain hybrids that really like narrow rows. They're gonna be shorter, they're gonna have uh, smaller ears, they're not gonna have much of a tassel. So what we're looking at doing as we move to the future, even from 15 inch rows, is to going to higher and higher populations with certain genetics. So one of the new things we're playing around with is growing corn in 12 inch rows. So here's a corn row here and another corn row here and another corn row over here and they're 12 inches apart. But they're planted in a diamond pattern so that the plants are a half a cycle off. And so there's always 14 inches to every corn plant. That's pure equal distance and that's about as perfect as you could get it. So if I was to guess at how we will grow corn 20, 30 years down the road, we're gonna have some of these super hybrids that are gonna be up around 50,000 to the acre. And a third pound of an ear of dry matter, that gives us exactly 300 bushel dry corn. Well, we've gotta have a lot of nitrogen to go along with it if you're gonna grow 300 bushel corn year in and year out. But in, uh, by the year 2050, there will be over 10 billion people on this planet. And we have to start today figuring out how to grow more corn so we will be able to feed them in the year of 2050.